2017 Toyota Corolla. The door handle's a little bit loose. So, uh, it seems to be a common problem on these cars. So, in this video, it applies to um, 2014 through 2019 Corollas. This part's a little loose because the inside there, which is made out of the, the internals for this, they're made out of plastic. So, uh, I guess it breaks after a certain number of years. This car's only four years old, but you know, whatever. I'll try to change it. Real easy to do. All right, so on the back of the door here, we have this little plastic plug. In the back of the door here, we have this little plastic plug, which we have to remove. And then, go in here, there's a screw right inside there. A little 20, it's a Torx 25, uh, Torx T25. Just get in there and loosen it out. Make sure it's all the way out. There's little things back here that sort of retained it in place and prevent it from dropping down in there. So it's all the way out now. Okay, so then once it's out, you wanna get your plastic, your plastic trim removal tool. And I like to do, I like to stick it between here so I don't damage my finish. Use a screwdriver at your own risk if you wanna damage your car. So I just stick, I just take this and just pop it right out. It comes right out. Now the plastic part comes out, but you gotta take the door, this door lock part out too. Just put this part down and make sure you don't scratch it anywhere because it is a outer, you know, trim piece. Just pop it right out. Pop the uh, lock assembly right out. Don't spin it around. Just make sure you put it back in the same way you took it out. When you put it back in, it goes back in and make sure it lines up with all that stuff in there, with that thing, where it's supposed to line up with. Goes back in the same way it came out, remember. So we take this out, place that aside. And then remove the thing, and remove the handle, you just pull out, and you just pivot right out, that's it. You can see this part's broken out right here, the part that goes inside the door. The rest is fine, which is the part that, well, this is broken, as you can see. So, set that aside, and we gotta fish out now the internals. All that crap in there, you gotta fish out. So we're gonna do that now. Pair of needle nose pliers, no problem. Oh yeah, make sure you don't lose these gaskets either, you're gonna need these to, uh, prevent contaminants and uh, other stuff from going inside there. All right, there it is, the broken part. This is supposed to go like this. So you, you broke. So that's supposed to go just like that. So we're gonna replace it. There's the new one. So insert the new one, just put it in the door. Make sure the gasket's in, this rubber gasket. Make sure this gasket's in. Very important to seal water, keep water and contaminants out of this assembly. So you put your new, just put it in. Once you get it flush, you just push, that's it. And you reassemble your lock cylinder with the trim piece on. Snaps in place. That's it. You reassembled it. Go back here and tighten the T25. Put your plug back in. That's it, you're done. Works like a charm. With the alarm.
That's it. Simple. Thanks for watching.